This is what our place looks like when I'm mid-gardening. This is not what our place looks like all the time, but it is rather chaotic because of rationalising space. And you can see our ironing board there and the orchid that was in the street and deserted and has had one beautiful flower and now has buds on it, which I'm thrilled about. Anyway, I'll show you the ironing board garden. Oh, I meant to say, I meant to put this back. Yes, I've only moved that just for a second. Christmas tree! Yes, you're doing very well. Hello everybody, I'm making a start here with reorganising the ironing board garden and I'm going to show you how we started last year from just one of those, moved on to egg boxes and now I've got a few more projects on the go. Look at these, I'll show you what happened with those, they're hazelnuts and those are oak trees and obviously I have to plant them out because they're going to outgrow this very quickly I would have thought. Let's have a look. New beauties. Absolute beauties. Look at that. I can't be more proud. Sarah up the road mentioned about hazelnuts, hazelnut trees and this is the first time I've ever collected the nuts and the first time anything like this has grown <laughs> on my ironing board on the ironing board they really are precious aren't they and I know that there are two more at least two more nuts in there that we can do something with <laughs> so it sounds wrong there are at least two more nuts in there there are at least a few there are quite a few oh, anyway there are quite a few in there Let's see. And you've got a, we've got a Primula, Sweet Williams, Primula, Narcissi, Tate a Tate, Hellebore, new Narcissi coming up. Then the Rubecchia was going very dormant, became very dormant. So I, I got rid of the dead leaves on that. And you can see little ones coming up. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for the best because we absolutely loved that last year and more narcissi, Campanula, uh, Verbena and Daisy and behind them I've got to plant out the uh, tete a tete that I got all in one pot and I think a bit like the other one I've uh, already done there may have been too many and overcrowding, so they haven't flowered, which often happens. Well, it doesn't often happen, but I didn't realise that's why it hadn't flowered. And now I'm going to put the geraniums, I think, in the flowering baskets, but it, it might be too early. We'll see if they'll be all right. I hope they'll be all right. And we've got these little ones, New Year's Day geraniums. The ones in the pots are from the uh, ones we planted in egg boxes. The ones in the seed tray have always been in the seed tray. And I found with the ones in the egg boxes, they dried out far too quickly and the roots got stuck in the egg boxes. So I left them too long and it's something to watch out for. 
um, as soon as they're ready to move to move them and as you can see these ones uh, the biggest one was the very first one to flower well, flower the biggest one was the very first one to put out leaves at all I'm so proud of them it's it, you do feel very very um, paternal no paternal you feel very um, I feel very maternal about them <laughs> and these are lemon trees from lemon seeds lemon pips and friends will know how much I treasure lemons day to day because of the vitamin C and I used to find in France when I went on holiday that there were 13 pips in every lemon coincidence I found it spooky as well as fun and this is uh, Lobelia no it's not this is Budlia I always get the two confused and it's for the bees and you might think of it as a weed but I am cultivating it because a bit like the hellebore we need more plant friendly no we need more bee friendly <laughs> be friendly everybody be friendly we need more bee friendly pollinator plants however pretty or useful there we are so let's go and see how we get on thank you for watching thank you for keeping up with the ironing board garden there is the ironing board we'll tell you all about the ironing board another time there's so much happening every day with plants that it takes a little while to catch up sometimes as I'm proving anyway have a lovely day more on this story later <laughs> more videos coming up very soon lots of love take care bye